Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today's project is going to be the two minute microwave method. And this shirt is called a crop top muscle tee, and it's by Star Tea Apparel. It looks like I have this tank top turned inside out from the pre wash. So for this project, it's going to be a spiral. You want to decide where you want the center of your spiral to be, give it a little pinch, and then I'm using the microwave splatter guard and a hemostat to create the spiral. So you want to click your hemostat down on the first click. It does not need to be overly tight. Give it a couple of twists, and then with your opposite hand, create the pleats and create the spiral. Go as far as you can using the splatter guard. When you can't go any farther, unclick your hemostat, hold down the center of the spiral, and gently wiggle it out. And for this project, I'm going to be securing it with my second favorite rubber bands. They're the perfect size for this project. What I'm working on now is creating a nice tight spiral. So I'm pulling on those loose tails and tucking them into the nearest rubber band. And I'll just go around and around pulling on all of those loose tails until when I pull on them, nothing else happens. And it creates a nice tight spiral that you're able to pick up, move around, flip without it falling apart on you. Now it's time for the fun part, we get to add the dye. And for this one, I wanted it to have sort of a darker feeling to it. So I'm going with grays and I'm using eggplant <laughs> um, and some black. And I think it's just going to give a really nice sort of neutral tone. Um, this is part of the Hawaii trip, so I'm working my way through all of those. Um, so when I was making the stuff for Hawaii, you know, making tie-dye for a person that doesn't necessarily like tie-dye and doesn't like loud colors. So this is more of a, well, it's just more muted for me. Usually I'm like, the brighter the better, you know, bring the rainbows on. Um, but this is a gorgeous color combination. I should also mention that I do have this on an incline. So you can see how the rack is propped up. That's an empty dye jar. Make sure if you're going to use your dye jars that they are empty. You do not want to put a full dye jar around melting ice. Next, I give the project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure and add the ice. And I'm going to let the ice melt and do its thing. And then I'm going to come back and add it to the microwave container. This is where the two minute method comes in. So you want to have a thousand watt microwave and you put it in the microwave for two to three minutes. Stay with the project. You do not want to walk away and have it catch on fire or something happen and you know, you're not there to handle it, okay? So you microwave it for two to three minutes and then you wanna let it cool before the washout. So now it's time for the washout and you wanna start by using cold water. That's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I do however many hot water cycles it takes using Kirillon. And it's usually about two hot water cycles because I'm washing many things together at one time. And then I do a third or a final hot water cycle using Millsoft. And Millsoft is a professional fabric softener that I get from Dharma Trading Company. And I have links for everything that I use for tie dye in the description box. So make sure you check that out. Then I'll throw it in the dryer and I'll iron it and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our crop top muscle tee. I think it's a tank top, but if they want to call it a muscle t-shirt, whatever, that's fine. Um, I'll take it. I definitely think this is like one of the prettier things that I've made in a long time. I love this color combination. It's just, it's just so beautiful. Like all of the colors complement each other very well. You know, the eggplant obviously is drop dead gorgeous. 
Um, and then the dark, you know, the new black, the darkness of that, those play well together. And then the subtleties of the grays, I don't know, it's just, it's really beautiful. I typically don't lean towards, you know, these types of color palettes um, because I'm just like all about the loud rainbows. But there's just something really attractive about this. I love it. Now, I didn't really have a lot of time in this short tutorial to talk about the microwave method. So I want to remind you guys that I do have a full tutorial that's dedicated to explaining the whole process. And I got those containers out of a tulip tie-dye kit. And for nothing else, it's worth getting that kit just for those containers because I, I use them over and over and over again. So overall, I love this shirt. Um, what do you guys think of it? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and then click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.